Remember the Ebola <coughs> outbreak a couple of years ago? Well, new this morning, St. Elizabeth Hospital in Edgewood is taking a look at how it would handle that type of emergency. Nine on your side's Lisa Smith shows us how the hospital is preparing. In an ER, you never know what the next emergency will be. We just got back on Friday from Sierra Leone. Okay. In this case, the emergency staff at St. Elizabeth's takes precautions if there's a fever and recent travel to a country with highly infectious diseases. They are in the decon area in the emergency room at Edgewood, yes. This is actually a statewide drill on how to handle potentially deadly contagion in Kentucky. We need to practice. We need to drill. We need to look at the what ifs. Mom is, I think, based on my conversation, uh, most probably um, high risk for having Ebola. Dr. Dora Savani is director of St. E's infectious disease response team. She communicates what's happening in Edgewood to state and federal officials. We have tremendous support from um, the state epidemiologist, from the Kenton County Health Department from the CDC. For the purposes of the drill, the hospital has installed a makeshift ICU unit with rooms set up for isolation. This facility actually um, mirrors our real intensive care unit. They say they've learned a lot since the Ebola outbreak a few years ago. Hopefully we'll never need to use it, but if we do, we want to be prepared. Lisa Smith, nine on your side. In a real scenario, local patients with an infectious disease like Ebola would be flown to Emory University in Atlanta for treatment. But meanwhile, St. Elizabeth is hoping to install a permanent isolation ICU area just in case.